Mandarin is spoken by approximately 16% of the world's population. In 2022, through a Mandarin pilot program, instruction in the Chinese dialect was formally introduced at two secondary schools on island. Further expansion of the program has been achieved with the inclusion of the View for Comprehensive Secondary School as the newest site for Mandarin tutoring, beginning with students in the first and second form. Support for the program has been received from the Embassy of the Republic of China, Taiwan, with a recent donation of instructional textbooks to further aid learning. Speaking at the official handover ceremony, Minister with Responsibility for Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, Honorable Sean Edward, underscored the goal of the Government of St. Lucia to ensure nationals are able to function competitively on a global scale. Being multilingual, he says, is a key step in this process. The Viewfort Comprehensive Secondary School has distinguished itself as one of the best managed, one of the best run, one of the best performing secondary schools, not only in St. Lucia, but in the entire OECS and the wider Caribbean. We want for you to be a global citizen by the time you graduate. It is not too early to begin to identify what you want to study down the road. And who knows, some of you in this very room might end up becoming university students in Taiwan. So if you can understand and appreciate and master the rudiments of Mandarin at such an early age, it will give you a profound and distinct advantage by the time you get to Taiwan. And I have every reason to believe that the program will be successful. The Mandarin pilot program has received full endorsement from Taiwanese ambassador Peter Chen, who described learning the language as opening up new opportunities enabling youth to explore global markets, especially as more St. Lucians are deciding to pursue studies in Taiwan. The, Man the Mandarin textbooks, Let's Learn Chinese, presented today, were published by the Overseas Community Affairs Council, OCAC of the Republic of China, Taiwan. These textbooks are designed to develop students' abilities to use Mandarin in daily life, allowing them to immediately apply their language skills in real-life context. Curriculum specialist for modern languages, Leonard Robinson, disclosed that for students seeking to attain tertiary-level education, learning a secondary language may soon be a mandatory requirement. After two years of instruction of the 200 St. Lucians introduced to the Mandarin program, 53 students, an estimated 20%, have sat the test of Chinese as a foreign language at the novice level with remarkable results. This first cohort of students registered a 100% pass with 21 students, 19 girls and two boys obtaining a novice two level qualification, which is the upper band of the novice level. And 31 students, 21 girls and 10 boys obtaining a novice one qualification and one Chinese-speaking student obtaining an A1 level qualification. With the support of the Taiwanese Embassy and the Overseas Community Affairs Council, students enrolled at the VA4 Comprehensive, St. Joseph's Convent, and St. Mary's College Secondary Schools have been provided with 640 complete sets of instructional books. Hosting the largest student population on island, the VA4 Comprehensive Secondary School, with the support of the Ministry of Education, is now poised to further develop St. Lucia's human resource. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Kiba Talyam.